habari watazamaji wa ITV popote pale mlipo niwakaribishe sana katika kipindi bora mkipendacho cha picha club ambacho ni sehemu ya kipindi cha watoto wetu kinachokujia kila siku za Jumatatu kuanzia saa kumi na nusu jioni hapa hapa Super Brand ITV kukuletea kipindi hiki ni mimi Amani Sulemani na sasa niwapeleke moja kwa moja kwa watoto wenzetu wa mashuleni ambao watatuonyesha jinsi ya kuchola picha mbali mbali karibuni sana Dear children, you're welcome again on the TV show known as the Picture Club, which it airs every Monday. Today we are here at Academic International Primary School with these students who are the members of Art Club. We are going to show you how to use space in art as a space in perspective and a space as an area of working. Now, what does it mean, the word space in art? Anyone who knows? Nobody. Okay, space means it's a plain surface where the artist is going to work on. Artists can show the space in perspective. What does it mean in perspective word? It's vocabulary for you. Perspective means here and there means things are very closer to the viewer and things are very far to the viewers. How we are going to show this? We are using lines. So slowly, slowly, if you follow instruction, you will be able to understand. Kwa wale ambao yaelewa na zungumza kwamba space. Kwanza tunaita ni elements of art and design. Elements of art and design. Elements of art and designs. Uh, katika elements of art designs, kuna vitu hivi. Space, ndi wambo ni melezea, amba ukiswali chake, laba tuite na fasi, lakini aitosh laba eneo pia. Tuna lines, yani mstali. Tuna shape. Tuna form. Tuna tone, our value. Tuna texture. Tuna colors. Sasa, leo tunakuja kuangalia space. These are very important things for any artist to know. We call them elements of art and design. Space, line, shape, form, tone or value, textures and colors. Now, how are we going to use space? This is the area we say the plain surface where the artist is going to work. What to draw? Let me give you first exercise of what to draw. If you ask your child, a parent, if you ask your child, draw anything you want. My experience shows many children, they like copying. They cannot think, they cannot trust themselves, they can draw something. Let me give you a simple exercise about what to draw into areas. Mtawapa zwezi dogo tu la kuweza kuchora. Kwamba kwanza uchore nini? Now, hold your pencil. Draw these dots, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nimewaomba mchore hizi dots. Goja niangalie kama kweli wanachora. I said draw nine dots. Okay, here I can see it's fine. It's not yet. 
How difficult to draw nine dots? Can you make it darker? Nafikiri mtoto na yoko nyumbani unachora hizi nukta tisa. Okay, now I think they've done. Nafikiri noe nyumbani umesha mariza. Now, what I'm going to talk about these nine dots. I'm going back to my working areas and to talk to you. Jalibu kufata melekezo yangu. Chagua nukta yoyote. Choose any dot you want here. Put your pencil on. Then draw four straight lines non-stop and connect all the nine dots this is for you i'm not going to show you here nilichokizungumza naamini mpiga picha wetu bora hapa atawapiga picha nyinyi sasa kwa sababu unachotaka mfanye muunganishe hizi nukta tisa kwa kutumia mistari minne iliyo nyoka without lifting up your pencil Bila kunyanyua kalamu yako juu. If you succeed this, you'll be able to draw whatever you want. Now, let's see. Your name is? Munawar. Okay, here hapa, is we say wrong kwa sababu nimesema unganisha nukta tisa kwa kutumia mistari mingapi mistari minne iliyo nyoka hapa 1 2 3 4 5 kwanza ni mitano kwa is wrong here also 1 2 3 4 5 wrong nani atapata tungoa tuone hapa hii pia wrong kwa sababu 1 2 3 4 5 lakini nukta zingine hazijaunganishwa Huyu amesimama njiani hajui anakwenda wapi. Uh, tujaribu kuangalia upande wa wasichana sasa tuone je wamemudu. Ehe. Niambie kwanza he jina lako nani vile nisha sawa. I forgot her name. Can you remind me also name please? Zebrina. 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 How many lines did I say to use? Four. Four. And how many lines have you used here? Five. Five. So it's wrong. Aha uh -huh, here. Karima. Karima Mbando. Okay, how many lines did I say to use? You are right, you have used four lines, but how many dots you are supposed to connect? Nine. Nine. You did not connect uh, one more dot. Kwa mtaona hapa, hili zoezi hili mekua gumu kweli kwao. Eh? Nitaruli semi ya kufanya kazi hili niweze kuwafundisha, na amini na wewe nyumbani huko, utakuwa unaweza kujifunza. I'll go back to my working place, and you are going to see how I do it. Okay, I think my student failed on this. Wanafunzi wangu wa meshindu hai. Na amini hata nyumbani pengine mmeweza, mmewashinda wa leo. Okay, now let me show you. And I will tell you why did I give you this exercise. Okay, now put your pencil here. Then connect this. Flow this. Did you think to do like this? This is one. Then go up to connect these dots. Ready? Then come again, the three, and then, now how many lines are here? And all the nine dots are connected. Kwa hiyo, kama ulikuona jaribu nyumbani na ulikuama, hii ndiyo soluisho. This is solution. Now, why did I give them this exercise? Kwa hiyo katika art tunachozungumzi art lazima ikufanye ufikiri ubuni ili kuonesha faida ya art Sawa serikali inasema hapa kazi tu na sisi tunasema hapa art tu Sawa hapa art tu Turudi tena kwenye eneo langu la kazi alafu niweza ku now let's look about the space as I said that uh, space is a uh, plain surface where artists are going to work artists can show 
space in perspective. What is perspective already explained before? Sawa, ni Michelle Zia Kwamba Nafasi au ni eneo ambalo uliko wazi ambalo mchoraji anatakiwa achore. Pia anaweza kuonesha picha inaonesha umbali na ukaribu kwenye flat surface. Yani uh, sehemu bapa. Sawa. Sasa bas. Tujaribu zoezi rahisi sana. Sawa. Lines Yani mistari kama tulivyoona ni vitu ambavyo vina uyana. It's like someone says mention part of the body. Okay? You can mention eyes, nose, mouth and etc. Kwa hiyo kwenye art katika elements of art and design those things are very important for you to know and to practice. Right? Sasa hii ndio nafasi yako Let's start with perspective Draw the lines like this How do you call this type of line Good Kiswahili chake kinaitwaje Leo nakumbuka siku moja nilipata tabu kukumbuka unaitwa mstari mshazari Mstari nini uh, hey, those slanting lines. Now draw the lines from here till here. One, two, any number of lines you can draw. Three, four, five. Hapa chini chora mistari kama hii. Done? Then bring other lines like this. It's very easy. Never mind if you you get many lines because we call this a sketching. Sketch means a quick picture. Sketch tunahita ni picha ya haraka. No more details. You can do finishing later. This we call thin line. Mstali wembamba. I'm doing now another line to make a board. Now we call thick line. Utaona na ujengea mstali unene. Sasa unaitwa mstali mnene. Now look, looks like uh, closing umbrellas, yeah? Looks like umbrellas, but uh, are not open. Lakini, unawezo kaisi kwamba ni aina ya miti, sio? Inaitua ashok trees. Sasa, hapa, ukijia kufanya hivi rough, rough texture. Mnaona sasa tunawazomzia textures. See, just play like this. Do a little bit rough like this. Jaribu kuchezea pencil yako kama hivi. Like scribbling. Utaona kwamba unaweza upande wa pili unaweza usikandamize sana kwa ajili ya kutengeneza mwanga. If you are trying to make the pencil works here very dark, it's very light, it is called tone or value to show lightness, darkness on the surface or on the object. Ukijaribu kuonesha mwanga na giza kwenye picha yako hiyo tunaita ni value yani lightness na darkness. Wajaribu kuonesha tena huko. Umeona hapa? Hii ndio tunaita perspective. Nimetoa mfano mwepesi au mfano rahisi ili kila mmoja wenu ajaribu kujifunza ukadi unavyoenda mbali huku giza linapungua utakuta kuna pungua mwanga okay what i'm saying when you go further further is going to be diminished faint because things are very closer they look brighter than those are very far Vitu ambavyo vipo karibu vinaonekana zaidi yani vina vinaonekana zaidi hata kama rangi au details kwa sababu viko karibu na mtazamaji now this picture we call perspective unaweza ukiongeza mstari mwingine hapa ukiongeza mstari mwingine zaidi unaweza kufanya barabara hmm? tuchukulia katika hii point this point in art we call v i 
VIP. Aha, uh -huh, let me test. What does it mean in art VIP? Who knows? No, not very important place. No, not very important portrait. No, that is that is in English you say VAP, very important person. Okay, in art we call very important point. He ni nukta muhimu sana kwa sababu ndio inakujengea sehemu zingine uweze kutengeneza. Ona? So it's like this. So here if you want to show this is road, tutakuonyesha barabara. If you draw lines like this, it's wrong. It's not 3D. But lines here, you have to do like this. Can you see? Someone can help me to get a piece of paper over there. If you can uh, tear in the piece of paper, I want to show you how can you modify this. Can you try while I'm doing this one? Nimewaomba mtu anikatie kikaratasi kidogo ili niwaoneshe jinsi ya kuitengeneza vizuri barabara. I'm sure now they are trying to prepare for me. I will take a piece of paper nitachukua karatasi hapa ambayo ipo straight kama hivi. Then I will try to erase like this. Then see what happen. Instead of using a ruler you can use this technique. Can you see now? The line is going to be straight. Imesaidia kufanya mstari uwe umenyoka. You can do both sides. You can try to do both sides. Naweza kujaribu kufanya pande zote mbili ngoja ni weke kiti changu vizuri. Kwa naamini mtoto nyumbani unajifunza kitu. Fine. If you want show because the road sign you need to cut your eraser 90 degree. Ukitaka kuonesha alama za barabarani. Inabidi kifto chako kikatwe nyuzi tisini. then utakuwa unakichora kama unachora una, una kwa kutumia kiftio unaweka hizi alama za barabarani see so, so, this is the way artists can do something to show things in a 3D on the flat surface okay now let's see what you've done yourself and then later on I'll ask you to draw any 3D pictures Okay, now let's try to look what other students have done and I hope you tried also at home. Natumaini wewe nyumbani, ulio nyumbani umepia umejaribu, sasa tunangali hawa wanafunzi ya pajinsi ambavyo, wamechola. Tawuliza majina yao, na wanasu madara salangapi. Aha, here, what's your name? Jina lako? Jofre Pascal. Sisiki vizuri? Jofre Pascal. Jofre Pascal. Mnaweza kuna Jofre Pascal, ya mejitahidi kufanya, bado wanaendelea kuchola. Uh, naweza kuonesha mwanga na giza hajafikia hana speed ya kufanya ile barabara labda tumwangalie mwanafunzi mwingine ambaye kabla hajaendelea tabii niweze kumsaidia unaitwa nani Nicholas Limo Ni Nicholas Limo Nicholas Limo umejaribu lakini kuna makosa kidogo hizi lines za chini hebu pencil yako utaki kuzifanya hivi pale wakati nachora nimekuwa napeleka pencil hivi kwa sababu hapa unakanyaga chini barabara unaikanyaga Ukifanya hivi maana yake barabara imekaa hivi wima sasa hapa inabidi pencil yako iende hivi alafu hii ni perspective lazima lines zioneshe slanting unaona isikae horizontal sawa tuendelee tena mbele tuweze kuona kwenye hii group tuone jinsi ambavyo mejaribu aha Joshua John Joshua John amejitahidi na bado anaendelea kwa hiyo Tuone atamalizia vipi baada ya picha yake. Tuje hapa. 
Mayan Masaba. Mayan Masaba amejitahidi lakini kitu ambacho yeye ambacho amekosea I'm trying to explain that uh, he is trying to do but uh, the mistake has done that he did not able to show lightness. He only show one tone. Amejaribu kuonesha giza, yani ajaonesha mwanga na giza. I said one side press your pencil, make it darker. Another side don't press your pencil. Okay? Continue. Huyu miti yake inaanguka chini. Labda imepigwa na tetemeko la ardhi anacheka mwenyewe. <laughs> Au kimbunga si tsunami eti. What happened on the trees? Can you explain? Oh, it's a mistake. Okay, just mistake. Okay, can you open the new page please then I can help you. Anafungua ukurasa mwingine niweze kumuongoza. Sasa hapa we say that we are starting like this. See? Enjoy. Be comfortable to draw. Think about the triangle, see? Look the way even hold my pencil. Easy, okay? You see? Then you draw the lines here. Kosa lake kubwa lilikuwa hapa, hajafanya vertical line, alifanya slanting line. If you draw vertical line like this, you'll be able to draw standing tree. Then you bring this, you bring this, you bring this, you bring this, you bring this. You see, then here, 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 here. For the road, this is a VIP, Okay, what would you say about VIP? What does it mean? Very important point. So you need to draw another line here, another line here for the roll. When you share the roll, you need to go this way and not this way. Can you continue yourself now? Aha, uh Zebrina. Zebrina umefanya vizuri lakini miti yako inaonesha kama makuti. Huh? Huu miti yake is we say in art wrong textures doesn't show like uh, leaves of the trees that they've tried to show. Another problem is how to shade the rod. Don't shade like this. You have to shade this way. Okay? okay. You shade vertical, I shade horizontal. And this one, I say do scribbling, not line. This is a line. I say do scribbling like this. Okay? Hajafanya scribbling kama nivyo sema. Okay, she is also trying to correct uh, Karima. Again, uh, here, uh, Misha. Uh, Misha, I think the problem is uh, proportion to draw things correctly according the size. Big to appear big, small to appear small. Did not follow. I said all the lines must touch the line, all the trees must touch the lines. And your nation is Tadiote mstari ameishia katikati alafu nilisema hapa kwa nini wanasahau nilisema scribbling not lines Karen Mary you try to draw nice but uh, again the problem is a uh, wrong textures i said here scribbling is like this you know they're different this is not scribbling these are the lines i say do rough the trees leaves you are showing a rough way both sides Perspective is fine, but the textures are wrong. Sawa. Ujaonesha vizuri textures. Martha Mkombo, you are really trying. Keep it on, and I need to have a speed, okay? Mtoto ambaye ule nyumbani na hakika na unaendelea kujifunza na kupitia kwa wenzenu ambao wanaendelea kuchora na mimi unapata kitu kidogo. Now I come to my friend here. Uh, which language you prefer to speak? Kiswahili or English? Are you sure you can speak a good Kiswahili? Yes. Ah yeah. Eh, sasa hapa kuna tatizo kidogo. Hii jinsi ya kuchora barabara inabidi mistari hije hivi. Okay? See your heavy. He is slanting. He is hori, horizontal. So you have to go like this. But you try another thing. You know, see the paper is too big. That's what I told you about the space. You could start. You could come till here. Do you like to try again this picture? Oh, you can continue this. I'll give you another work to do in perspective. Okay? Higher. Let's continue. Ha, tunakuja hapa tunajaribu kuona hewa tatuambia jina lako kwanza. Joshua Kimweli. Joshua Kimweli. The same problem as I explained to 
those girls about showing the textures. Textures, not lines. Textures, you rough textures, you see? Not lines. You have to do like this, rough. Scribbling, which is very easy for you. Bada bada pia, umefanya slanting line. Hapa tumefanya, the, the big problem here, you did not follow vanishing point. Meona makosa hapa, meona hapa, najaribu kuweka dark, mpigia picha wangu na mini ni maheri sana tiza kuonesha mtona vizuli kwenye TV zenu. Semu indio kuna makosa. Kwa sababu hapa ilibidi, kwanza ilibidi panze hivi, huku, yuko sawa, akaja hapa, yupo sawa, akaja hapa, yupo sawa. Tatizo limekuja hapa. Bada ya kuleta hii hapa, ameweka hapa. Kwa hii ilibidi ya zote, point, kote kwanzi hapa. Zote zianzi hapa. That's why we call very important point. See? Then you could do like this, vertical. See? Not this. Kosa hisha yo. Sasa tunakuja kwa wanafunzi wangu wengine wawili hapa ambao watajitambulisha. Are you comfortable in English or Kiswahili? Aya. Ehe, hebu tuone sa picha yako. Kwanza sema jina lako nani? Jina lako ni Daniel Damascus. Nani? Daniel Damascus. Dan, eh, sa Daniel. Sasa Daniela, umefanya shading vizuri mno. Sawa? Tatizo ambalo lilopo texture kuonesha texture hii tabii nifulishe tena pesa yako iko wapi Aha okay unaanza hivi umeona mstari wima wao tunasema vertical lines slanting line hii yani kama pembe ni pembe tatu umeona unaweza kutula pembe tatu Daniel Hii tumesema ni VIP very important point unachola slanting line inaweza kaja hivi eh inagusa hapa ukichola nyingine sote zinakuja hivi sawa Afu la chola, miti hapa. Maona inagusa. Ukita kunesha semu ili kushia majia, unatumia mstari yu. Maona? Au vuki, kukuja huku. Umeona? Umeona? Utendelea na huku. Waikri kwa miisi kwa kule mejitahidi. Kitu ambacho chuleza kumsaidia, kidogo miti yake, jagusa mstari wa juu. Lakini, shading zimekuenda vizuri. Texture ya mejitahidi kidogo na mejaribu kutumia kidole kwa kusambaza shading yake lakini picha kama hii kibaya kama ilivyo ipendezi inabidi aweke frame wala wita pendeza kwa cha kufa ni iko alafu Wycliffe kwani una kitabu cha kucholea bwana ulikisahau ulikisahau ulichola nyumbani sasa kama kwa ulichola nyumbani siku nyingine tukija kwenye kipindi kama hiki nataka nao ulichochola nyumbani sawa haya watoto natumaini mmefurahi sana kuona watoto wenzenu wanachora Dear children, those who are watching this program, they're coming out to the end of our program. My students here, next time when we're going to meet again, they are going to draw for me themselves, not me to show them what to draw. They are going to show me how to draw perspective picture or 3D. So for today, we have to say bye to the other children who are at home. To again, you want to talk about your mind, to ambie. Watazamaji wa kipindi cha picha klabu, nikukumbushe ya lojini katika kipindi hiki cha siku ya leo. Tuluweza kuwaona watoto ambao walikuwa natuonyesha jinsi ya kuchua la picha. Usikosi kuangalia mlodio ya kipindi hiki ambapo ni jumane kuanzia saa ne kamili. Mina hitu wa mani suwe mani. Asanteni na kwa herini kwa sasa. Kwa maoni na ushauri, tuandikia kupitia info at itv.co.tz. ITV pia inapatikana kupitia satellite, intersalt, 196, frequency, 1343 megahertz, symbolit, 1845, mega symbol, FEC, 23, polarization horizontal. ITV, super brand, Afrika Mashariki.